Hello everyone, welcome in Learn CHE. In this video, we are going to discuss about pressure safety wall, which is also known as the PSV wall, right? We, we simply say PSV. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is pressure safety wall, construction of the PSV, then we will see the working of the PSV, how this PSV works, and then we will discuss about the why do we use the PSV in the industry as well as the practical applications of the PSV in the industry. Okay, this is very very interesting video if you are working in an industry or if you are studying in the college because the pressure safety wall is one of the important or one of the favorite topic for interviewer as well as for the general purpose you should know about the pressure safety wall function, its uses and its practical application. Okay. So before starting the video, if you haven't joined Learn CHE YouTube channel, you can subscribe Learn CHE YouTube channel as well as you can join our other social media handles to ask any question. So let's start the video. So first thing is what is pressure safety wall? Okay, so there is a three term. The first term is wall okay from the last and the mid term is a safety and the first term is a pressure means it is a type of a wall okay which provides us a safety with respect to pressure okay so simply you can see that and you can write your own definition so what is the pressure safety wall a pressure safety wall is a wall okay which is pressure releasing wall it releases the pressure from where now this is the question from where we will see this so what is the primary purpose what is the main purpose why we use the psv so the primary purpose of the psv or to use the psv is the protection of the life property and the surrounding means environment so uh, like uh, are you able or are you about to think something about why we are using the why we are using why we are using the PSV to protect the life okay it means that something mishappening is happening within our system that's why we are using the PSV got it so it will start working during over pressure okay over pressure event in the pressurized vessel okay suppose if we have a vessel suppose this is my vessel and if in this vessel suppose there are the tubes okay suppose this is a heat exchanger and there is a tube in a silent tube heat exchanger now if this tube ruptures okay and like uh, something happens and this tubes ruptures then what will happen the pressure will create okay it will over pressure the system side uh, the cell side pressure will be increased okay then there may be something mishappen okay that's why we use here a psv okay that's why we use here a psv so what will happen that this psv will actuate and it will release the pressure from the cell side of the heat exchanger got it so that's why this psv is used and that's why we said that the psv is protect the life property and the surrounding i hope you understand that what i want to say so the reason for excess pressure in the system there may be many reasons uh, due to which the pressure will increase within the system okay some reasons are here which i know and that is the outlet is blocked suppose if the outlet is blocked okay then what will happen suppose this is my tube okay and if there is this is my inlet and this is the outlet okay if suppose this outlet is blocked then what will happen the inlet is coming continuously but it's not going out then the pressure will increase definitely and the second thing is inlet tubes is a rupture okay if suppose there is a my low low steam and high steam is going on and if this ruptures then also the pressure will increase of the surround of the cell if with respect to heat exchanger if we are talking we are talking about the heat exchanger then simply it will increase the pressure of the heat exchanger of the cell side okay then control wall failure okay if suppose our control wall control wall does not work properly then what will happen that it will not work properly so it will also cause the problem of the access pressure okay what is the what is the work of the control wall what is the work of the control wall the control wall is a regulating wall right it will regulate the flow if suppose it is not able to regulate the flow okay so 
इट मे कॉज द एक्सेस प्रेशर कंडीशन एंड द फोर्थ कंडीशन इज द कूलिंग मीडियम फेलियर ओके सपोज समथिंग इज गोइंग हेयर ओके सम कूलिंग मीडियम इज हेयर बट दिस कूलिंग मीडियम सपोज इट्स इनलेट इज ब्लॉक सो वट विल हैपन डेट इट विल ऑल्सो इट मे ऑल्सो इंक्रीज द एक्सेस प्रेशर ओके एंड देर मे बी अनदर कंडीशन एज वेल प्लीज एट मी नो इन द कमेंट्स बॉक्स वट मे बी द अदर रीजन फॉर एक्सेस प्रेशर इन द सिस्टम ओके नाउ हेयर इज द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द पी एस बी नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द पी एस बी ओके सो दिस इमेज आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम द रिसर्च गेट डॉट नेट सो यू कैन ऑल्सो सर्च इन गूगल अबाउट द पी एस बी इफ यू वॉन्ट to know more about the psv and you can study from the researchgate.net okay so here you can see that this is the our psv okay and the safety wall this is the inlet okay and this is my outlet got it means if it will work then the inlet will be this and then fluid will go like that okay so like there will be some pipe connection will be provided okay then this fluid will go to some tank or it may be like if suppose there is a vapors and we want to vent out so we can also vent out this gases okay if suppose there is a gases so what what happens that how it is works it mainly works on the force balance okay it mainly works on the force balance okay before that we could like we we should understand about the construction of this psv okay so there are the bonnet this one is a bonnet okay upper part and this lower part is a body this one right this one is a body and this bonnet and body are connected here by the okay it it is mainly connected by the bolts now in the inner part this is the spring which will actuate uh, like which will expand or compress due to the pressure within the system this is the disc which restrict the like we, i can say the which restrict the inlet flow if the pressure is below and this is the adjust ring this one okay and this is the nozzle which provide the inlet got it now how it works i'll tell you in my upcoming slide and okay so before starting that i was saying about the force balance so how the force balance works so simply that there is some set value okay if if we are designing if a process engineer is designing the psp so it will give us a set pressure okay in an industry you will see that there will there is a set pressure of every psv means if if suppose this set pressure is in means if our system will go if our system will go ahead from this set pressure then this psv will actuate okay and after that it will work and our like fluid will go like that how it is work i'll tell you ahead okay so the working of the psv now here we will discuss about that how this force balance work so as i say to you that if the system pressure is less than the set pressure okay there is first condition then what will happen here you can see that if the system pressure is less than the set pressure okay so here is a set pressure as i am talking uh, talking about so here are two forces are working the first one is downward force and the another one is a upward force got it so if my set pressure means if our inlet there is a fluid if this fluid pressure is less than the set pressure then this downward force this downward force will be greater than the upward force and our system is safe or we can say that this psp will not actuate but if the system pressure is greater than the set pressure so see here what will happen that then this upward force this upward force will be greater than this downward force and what will happen that the disc will open will go upward and this spring will compress and or fluid or our suppose it may be liquid or it may be gas okay and on the basis of that we can also here see you will also like you will also study the one concept as well that is prv that is pressure relief fall and we will discuss about it in our upcoming videos okay as this spring compresses so what will happen that this disc will go upward and our fluid will go like that okay means our inlet fluid get one direction one 90 degree direction 
and it will go from here so it will be open the disk will be open until the pressure reaches at the normal condition okay means below the set pressure and again this spring will expand and this disk will be sit on the seat got it so that's how this psv work okay and here you can see that there is a psv is there okay so and here you will see two name the first name is psv and the second name you will heard prv and in our upcoming video we will discuss about the difference between psv and prv okay so same if suppose there is a tubes in this heat exchanger if this tubes are ruptures then what will happen the pressure will increase if the pressure increases then this psv will work okay and here you can see this is the outlet and this outlet outlet will be connected with some some pipe to provide the outlet of the like to provide the connection okay because we cannot open this outlet in the environment it will harm the environment if suppose there is some gases and some toxic gases so there will be some outlet of this pipe suppose the outlet of this pipe is at at this tank so it will go into the tank and if there will be number of psvs so number of connections will be there so every psvs outlet will be go into the this tank okay so that's how this psv work i think you have now the understand now i think now you have understood that how this psv work okay okay so now the practical application of the psv okay i have already discussed about that but with respect to industry now we will discuss okay so when the process engineer design the psv okay and when the pnid in a pnid you will see that there is a pressure safety wall okay so when you will go into the industry and you will see if there is any vessel there is a pressure safety wall so you will see that there there will be a tag okay which is a identification tag nothing nothing else and there will you will there will be you will see that there is a tag and suppose here is uh, i have a tag is 15 psv 200 what is it means it means that this is a unit suppose in my industry the 15th unit which i am talking about and where this psv is located and psv means pressure safety wall and this is the identification number means 200 or we can say 200 okay so if like suppose if you know that where is this psv so you can directly go there okay suppose there is a heat exchanger is deployed in your industry and the psv tag is 15 P 15 psv 200 so if you know that the 15th psv 200 is installed in the this heat exchanger so you can directly will come here now okay that is the main thing why we use the tag okay and now the set pressure the set pressure is 3.5 kg per centimeter square okay if our system or the heat exchanger will go ahead okay or if our system or if our heat exchanger will over pressurize from this pressure 3.5 kg per centimeter square then this psv will actuate otherwise our operation will go normal okay that is the working and that is the practical application of the psv suppose if something mishappening happens within this heat exchanger and the over pressurization occurs then this psv will simply actuate and our pressure okay this is a set pressure and suppose if the if the normal pressure within the system will increases will increases the set pressure then we can simply say that this psv will actuate and if this psv will actuate then this psv will release the pressure from the heat exchanger and after the normal condition it will it will closes okay same thing you can you can just comprise this here what will happen okay you can understand from here what will happen got it so this was about the psv pressure safety wall okay so i hope you will not have any doubt now what is psv and if you have any doubt regarding the psv please let me in the comments box i'll try to give the answer as soon as possible and in our upcoming video we will discuss about the pressure relief wall and the difference between pressure relief wall and pressure safety wall thank you thank you for watching